Imagine effortlessly converting your handwritten notes into digital text, saving both time and money while keeping your ideas organized and accessible. Whether you are a student, a lecturer, a writer, or a creative professional, this powerful technique can change how you work. Seriously. So for lecturers and writers, this means turning your handwritten text into novels, these books, journals, or even movie scripts without a need to spend extra on typing or transcribing. Children can save money and effort on typing project works, and anyone can store their notes digitally for easy access and future use. With the rise of AI, life is now made incredibly easy. You don't need to stress yourself anymore to get things done. In this video, I will show you how to convert your handwritten text into a detailable digital text. You can easily convert it to Microsoft Word, PDF, or any other text document of your choice using two different methods. Number two is my best method. So say goodbye to tedious typing and hello to increased productivity. This step-by-step -step guide will change how you handle your notes, whether you are a student, a professional, or just someone who loves to write. Stay tuned. Your productivity is about to skyrocket. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are tech, international transactions, and digital creativity become very simple. Today, we are diving into an exciting method to convert your handwritten text or your handwritten notes into digital text. In just a few simple steps, you will learn how to seamlessly disguise your handwriting, making your work faster and more efficient. Before we proceed, don't forget to like this video so that YouTube can recommend it to more people. And please subscribe so you don't miss any of my subsequent videos. Let's get started and unlock a whole new level of productivity. So the first method to convert your handwritten text into Microsoft Word or PDF or any other text document is by going over to your Play Store or your Apple Store, depending on the one you are using. So when you get there, you download this app. You go over to the search bar and search for OCR. That is the first method. So this method is actually offline. You don't even need an internet connection to do this. All right, so you use COCR. All right, you now download this first one here that says OCR image to text converter. You tap on it. Then you now go over here and install it. But my own says open because I have it already installed on my phone. So you can go ahead and install it on your phone. Then you open it. You allow it to open. Right, so once it's open, there are two ways you can do this. So you can either capture the document you want to convert to text directly from here, or you can use your camera to capture it, then you upload it on this app. So let me use the second option. Let me just capture it with my normal phone camera. Then I can upload it to this app. So I open my camera. Let me use my HD camera. I don't want to use my normal camera. All right, let me use this HD camera. It's actually an external camera. All right, so you now capture the pages you want to convert to text. All right, no matter the number of pages, just capture them. Okay, so let me start with this. Let me capture the first page. Okay, so this is the first page. Let me go to the second one. And make sure that there is enough light in the environment. Okay. Okay, so I've captured it. I want to remove the parts I don't want, but it is not compulsory actually. I just want to do it. All right, this is my. All right, this is it. So let me crop out some parts I don't want, but this is not compulsory. So let me just go over to this edit option and crop out some parts. Our parts don't matter, think and only tank the light. Okay, I think this is okay. And now go over here and save it. Let me name it page number one in case. Let me go to details here. Edit. So I'll come over here. Page one. Well, this is not compulsory. It just for me to be able to identify it. All right. So the next one, this one I'm doing is actually not compulsory. So let me even go over and convert it without having to copy because it's not compulsory. So I open the app, this image to text converter. I tap on it. Okay. So you now go over to this gallery option here. 
I go through my file. Right, so these are the three documents. Let me leave the one that I cropped and choose the other ones. Okay, so let me go over to the first one. This is the first one. You can adjust it or you can even crop it out. So that's thing I would have done before. I can also do it here. All right. So you crop some parts out. If there are some parts you don't want to include in it. Okay, you now go over to crop. This crop option here. Okay, that one is. All right, so this has been converted to a digital text. So you can now go ahead and copy it and paste on Microsoft Word. But this is not my best method. The second method is actually my best method. Because sometimes this OCM, I don't really get everything very well. So I prefer the second method. Now, the second method is by using chat GPT. All right, so to get it, if you don't have it, you can use your computer and go over to your browser. Then you search for OpenAI, openai.com, if you are using a laptop. So from there, you can go down. You can even use your phone and use the web browser for that if that's what you want to use. Then you now go down to this try chat GPT. All right, there you can log in as I using it. All right, but if you want to use your phone app, which I prefer using, just go over to your Play Store or your Apple Store, depending on your type of device. So from there, you go over to your search option. You know, search for chat GPT. All right, you search for it. So here is it. You can see it's saying open here. But in your own, it can say install. You can go ahead and install it to your phone. All right, so once installed, you can open it. So once you open it, it will prompt you to sign up or to sign in if you have an account with them already. So I've already signed into the account. Right, so the next thing is you now come down here that says message. You now come down here, you see some icons here. You see a camera icon, a picture attachment icon, and a folder icon here. I want to upload the pages that we just captured right now. So let me go over to this picture attachment option. I now tap on it. All right, so I now go down to continue. Okay, so let me go ahead and upload the two pages. The two pages one, two. You can even view them here to ensure that they are the correct ones. But since I'm sure of that, I now have to go over to this add two. All right. So I tap on it. So these are the two pages I selected. I now come down here that says message and type convert these images to text. Convert these images to text. So that's the prompt for that. You now go over this send icon. You tap on it to send it. And you allow ChatGPT to read the images and convert them to text for you. Then you can see how it's converted everything for me to text. You can see how it's arranged. So I actually prefer ChatGPT to OCR. To me, ChatGPT is the best in converting image to text. All right, so you can see how it's arranged everything. You can see that. So you can now go ahead and long press, then copy. You will see copy here and paste it to Microsoft Word where you can now go ahead and start your editing and your printing. So that is all about that. You can see how easy that is. We actually converted this within some seconds. All right. You can even copy it and paste to WPS. So let me go to WPS on my phone. That is my phone's Microsoft Word. I use WPS or Microsoft Word. So let me go to blank documents. All right, so I can now come here and paste it. Then I'll go ahead and start arranging it. Okay, it is just as easy as that. You can arrange it here, save it, and probably send it uh, to your laptop via uh, Bluetooth or send it to any device you want to print it out from but you can even print out from your phone if you want to do that all right so that is all about that you can even convert it to PDF after working on it so this is how you can easily convert your project work to digital text or even your novels or your scripts or anything that you've written with your hands you can easily convert them to digital text without having to pay for typing okay you can, you can even convert and already printed materials to a digital text if that's what you want to do all right it's just as easy as that and you are good to go 
And remember, using ChatGPT not only makes your work easier, but you can also monetize using digitized notes. Offering transcription services for students or professionals can be a great way to earn some extra cash. Seriously. I hope you find this story helpful. Don't forget to like this video and share this video with friends who might benefit from turning their handwritten text into digital text. And if you're looking for more tech tips and tutorials, make sure to subscribe and check out my other videos to the link in this video description below. So let me know how you feel about this in the comment section. You can also join my channel community to the link in this video description. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.